If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this module, we're going to continue looking at additional debugging capabilities within the Ruckus IoT suite. So this particular module, we're now going to look at the event log within the IoT controller and see how each of those entries relates to a specific action within the environment and how you can use those to identify what's going on within the IoT controller and within your IoT platform. So as we look at our dashboard, we have an option on the main menu for events. And if we open the events window, you'll see we have a list of everything that's happened within the IoT environment that allows us to see and configure and understand exactly what's going on within the system. So you can see since we've started the system up, that we've had a, a series of events that have happened. So the first one we have is we have an upgrade request. So as an access point has been onboarded onto the IoT controller, it has been identified that the firmware that it's running is not correct for the firmware running in the IoT controller. So the IoT controller version support for this particular version of the IoT controller is version 5.2 and the gateway is identifying that its IoT firmware is version 5.2.1. So these are not correctly aligned between those two versions. So in this particular case, because the firmware version is higher than the firmware version uh, that the IoT controller is expecting, nothing has happened. So it is identified in, in two particular examples here that the, the firmware is not correct, but the firmware version is on the access point is, is newer than the firmware version that it's expecting, so it does nothing with it, it doesn't know what to do. A few hours later now that you can see that the, the controller has now detected that the firmware on the access point has changed. So the controller version uh, here is 1.5.11, uh, which is our current IoT controller version. Um, and that we are expecting the this particular version of firmware to be on the access point and therefore we are uh, going to send an upgrade. So we've identified that the firmware on the access point is not correct and that the firmware that we have on the controller is required. So therefore we are going to send an upgrade to that uh, access point. So we do what's called a hot upgrade. So the IoT controller now will push a new version of the IoT firmware down and onto the access point. And you can see you'll see a number of those happening over a period of time as the controller goes through the relevant steps. Additionally, we can see here that the IoT access point has actually been rebooted as well. So somewhere along in this system, the smart zone has sent a notification to the access point to reboot the AP. Uh, probably because of some configuration change or some minor change within the system. So you can see within the event log that we're, we're able to see exactly what's going on within the network and exactly what's going on within the within the configuration. So in addition to looking at firmware and release information that's going on within the, the access point, we can also get information or alarms that are notified by the access point into the controller. So for example, if I unplug the IoT radio from this particular access point now, and I refresh the, uh, the dashboard, you'll see that the event now has logged that the you, that, that particular access point has detected an event on the USB dongle and that it has been undetected. In other words, that particular dongle has been unplugged. And conversely now, if I plug the dongle back in and I refresh the, uh, the status, you can see that the, again, that access point has now correctly detected that the USB dongle has been redetected. So you immediately anybody tries to do anything with the access point or the IoT gateway with regards to mucking around or playing or, or unplugging or plugging in the radios, we're able to detect that information and report that directly up to the IoT controller. So in addition to the dongle being removed and reinserted, we're also able to do some additional things on the radio. So if I unplug the uh, IoT radio now and again I refresh you'll detect that the uh, the dongle has reported that it's been undetected so in other words that the dongle has been unplugged but if I plug a different radio into the access point now you'll see that the access point reports that the uh, the USB dongle has been inserted but that the USB dongle has actually changed so this will take a little bit longer as the the firmware inside the access point goes through its process and checking that the device is different and that the firmware is correct so not only has it detected that the dongle was undetected but also now it, as you try and plug a new radio in 
it will detect that the USB device has changed, that the firmware might be different on that device, and it'll actually now go through all the processes of correctly uh, validating that the dongle is both valid and that it has the correct firmware. So here you can now see that it's correctly detected that the dongle has changed. So the MAC address is different between the two dongles that have been plugged in. And in the background to that, it has also upgraded the firmware on that dongle to make sure that it is now in alignment with the firmware running on the access point and the IoT controller. So if somebody had been running an old version of an IoT network with an older version of the USB dongle firmware, that will automatically now be upgraded. And that's why the process takes a little bit longer because it has to make sure and go through the validation to make sure that the product is a, a verified Ruckus product. So now we can see that we have our log file and all of our log information shown in front of us. We can actually now download that log file. So on the right hand side of the dashboard, we have our download button. So if we click download and open the, the dialog box, you'll see that our browser now has downloaded our events log into a local file. So we can actually now open that event log and view what's going on inside. And you can see if we open that file now, you can see that we get all the information about each of those events that have happened in, in a reverse order. So you can actually see the, the date and the time. So here was our last event that came in. So we had our MAC address of access point. We could see the event. We could see that the dongle MAC changed and the new MAC address. So we could now send that or email that to our support team within the Ruckus environment. Or if you have a case that's been opened, you can now attach that directly into your ticket that you've opened on the uh, Ruckus support site. So that completes our debugging capability and our event log overview within the Ruckus IoT suite.